Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about this. Agent Academy, episode number 96, recorded on July 21st, 2022. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. Agent Dewey J. And Agent Vane. Way over there, and we are the Agent Academy podcast, talking about ingress, and we've been gone for a few weeks. We got uh, work, vacation, things, and there's still an episode in the can somewhere. It's the mysterious episode <laughs> that may make its way to Lost episode. somewhere, and we may find it one day, and then you may find it and be like, well, I wish they just left it where it was. It's trapped in another dimensional node. Don't don't worry. We'll uh, figure it out. JBJ will want you to find it because there's a code in it, and he right. has to have that code. <laughs> and we will say, well, I don't care. Caritha? No, Caritha. I can't even say it now. It was an event that we talked about back in that episode. Kythera. I don't Kythera. You don't Kythera about it? I don't Kythera about it at all. Yeah, no? That, that was the resistance, mm, evidently, but that's another story. So that's that's yeah. the real reason we didn't talk about it, right? <laughs> That's why we so well. Tin foil hat. <laughs> Wanted to let everybody forget that ever happened. Now we can come back to it. Uh, toast. 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 Okay. So we got things to talk about this week. Yes. Sure. Your uh, Dewey J's throwing up fields right now. Well, not right this second, but no, no. I actually took I'm a taking, trip just to do that. Yeah, yeah. Made the trip just to throw a field. Uh, actually taking down more things than I'm putting up, but uh, on vacation in an un- undisclosed area, in an undisclosed closet, in an undisclosed house. Uh, so that's why I look a little different. But um, yeah, getting to take down some of those long green links coming out of Gitmo. So instead of 64 links coming out of Gitmo, now we've got 62. Resistance strong. Uh, nice. But uh, yeah, nice. first did the first Saturday thing and... Uh, been doing other things, been had a couple performances, had a wrap your mind around this one, a live on stage radio broadcast. Ooh. Which was different. Like so, where y'all do the Foley like live on the mic and stuff? I, I, I was the Foley guy, so I was oh, making that's all awesome. the sound effects and stuff like that. So we had an organization that was uh, celebrating their 20th, and so they wanted to do something from the 1920s. So we did a radio broadcast from the 20s live for them, which was kind of neat. And uh, now we're cranking up Philadelphia story, so we're starting to do that. And uh, been doing some stuff with the barbershop guys. Got to sing with the Cape Fear Chordsman a few days ago, and I'll sing with the Greensboro, Greensboro Tar Heels next week. That kind of tells you where I'm at. Uh, but at- Oh, nice and frozen, just like that. Uh-oh. Am I frozen? There he's back. He's back. He's back. Okay. Right, good, good. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, network. oh no. Oh, yeah, I'm back. I think he's conspiracy. <laughs> okay, and like, let him okay. let him talk for a minute. I'll go real quick. Uh, yeah, I've been doing some some uh, pioneer and uh, getting those units. All right, I'm done. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a that's a hard one to follow up with. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I think since the last time we talked, I was trying to go back and look in the the notes. Uh, I think we were targeting like Onyx Epoch. So either we we had like just met Onyx, or we were like a week out. You just got it, and I yeah. took a week or two to get it. So we both hit it. That's right. Yeah. So we just hit it. And now you know I'm still going. So we're we're yeah. working on that that well, double Onyx. Gotta get Two out wings. of three of us are still going. There's one of us <laughs> that can't seem to do seven days in a row. It's it's rough. <laughs> Need to get you a house portal, you know. 
I've tried. <laughs> Little free libraries, just start planting them, you know, every three feet in their front yard. What about a public honey depot? So like one of those bee hotels? So like so they have like these hives that are, okay. So maybe, so like they have these hives that are like all enclosed and stuff, pulling out the trays to get the honey off. It actually has a thing you just turn and it spits out the honey, right? Like a sp spigot basically. Uh, and then it, uh, where it damages the, the, the comb, the bees then go in and like repair it. So you never have to actually go into it like get it so you're not killing bees and it's anyway we uh we maybe get one of those and what if i put it on the outside where people could just come up and get their own honey here's here's my plan for you i think that you should write no. the people at niantic and tell them that you'll let them park the nl 1331 van at your house and then you go permanently there you go yeah make a garage for them the whole nine yards and then just you know we we'll move the portal. It's no problem. <laughs> They'll be like in Huntsville, Alabama. It's really close to close to Triana, though. I saw your little Triana artwork thing. That was kind of neat. Well, what do you what do y'all say? Like, let, let's push for a mission day light because they have the light ones. This would be maybe mission day super light because <laughs> uh, there's like eight portals in Triana. <laughs> so but we get a few more. One portal per mission. You need. Yeah, you need what six missions? Yeah, well, I, you could probably do it. I mean, you just have to go and do it. Yeah, yeah, one through, yeah. One through yeah, six, a, a, seven, a lot of multi hack six. heat sink deploys, <laughs> yeah. a lot of heat sinks. Yeah, I mean, we could do it, make an event of it. So, anyway, I'll, I'll submit it and waste someone's time completely. We'll see, and then y'all come down here and partake. No. Okay. Uh, my, if it's on my See y'all next week. I Bye. think you know. I, <laughs> let me double check. I think I'm only one mission day away from Onyx. So you know, if we could, if we could get it approved, that would be a nice little uh, little way to little you know, cherry get on Onyx. <laughs> well, I don't know if we're even talking about this. They just released something recently about the um, submitting mission days for the kind of the next, mm -hmm. however long. So. Um, is that in the news? I don't want to jump the gun on this one. Well, it is now. Well, I'll go ahead and talk about go it. Go ahead and talk um, about it. We'll skip it when we get it. <laughs> right. So, you know, it's, if if you want to do like a mission day in your area and you think maybe you can get like your city involved, that sort of thing. And, um, they're doing something new this time called uh, mission day lights. Or I guess smaller areas. It still requires the six missions, but there are some other details on it that were made it light. Right? Is that a dog? This is not a dog. <laughs> the cat looks like this a is dog. Very much a cat. It's, it's as big as a dog. <laughs> it eats dogs for dinner. It's so cute. Um. But yeah, that's uh, that's what I was getting the the badge and stuff ready for was to do a light version. I think they had um, this round of mission days. They were going back to the ones that they had just before COVID started, and people had submitted them, and so they're starting to pick those. Is that correct, Vinny? Uh, I think at this point, you know, definitely going through some of the older <laughs> applicants to see yeah. if. Folks are still like interested. I think that's that's kind of the first touch point, though, is just like, would you still like you submitted an application from way back when, yeah, uh, before COVID happened? Is this still something that your area even wants to to support? But mm -hmm. I don't think that's necessarily like completely the official process right now. I think it's just making you know clearing out the backlog, so to speak, of yeah. applicants hints before we kind of get to the opening the floodgates so i'd say maybe like a soft launch yeah yeah, yeah and I mean, so i found the post so on 7 1 uh they posted this basically and it's the new mission day guidelines for 2022 with a uh, new application form um and the new thing was the mission day light which is available for areas with a population of 2500 or less 2500, uh, that have wow. never hosted a mission day in the past 
Um, it's the same as mission days in all aspects, except for it will have a six mission requirement versus the 18. I guess it's 18 required for the normal mission days. So you only, you only have to hit six to get, well, the row. 18 total have to be available for mission day. So, you know, if you're looking at, you know, making sure that your, your scanner looks right, you want to get the six across. But, so that's probably why they picked six. And so uh, creating missions no longer requires the mission planning spreadsheet. Is that a hassle in the past? I don't know. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it was sort of you had to, you had to like detail out the, like I hadn't myself worked with the, the process, but I've, I've talked with folks that have before. And you really just kind of had to like build out your missions on a sheet. And then those would be uploaded essentially by, you know, Niantic. Whereas now I believe you can like pre-create the missions and then they'll be able to go into mission author and like pull them out. Like, so they won't have all these missions all suddenly popping up that say mission day, whatever. And then they're like, Oh yeah, you didn't make it. Sorry. So it's just missions there that say the name or whatever would be weird. I assume that's why I kind of had the spreadsheet kind of so that they could kind of plan all that out. And then go, boom, here's all the missions instead of like going through the the app to like turn them on one by one or something. Yeah, no, it was, it was definitely a more complicated process in the past and yeah. it should be a quality of life change going forward. I, I've heard horror stories about mission authoring tool. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was kind of like a spaghetti code to begin with, I think. Get it all done and hit save and it drops and then start again. One of those. Also, with this, they said that cities with postponed mission days uh, should have already heard from Niantic Thea to discuss rescheduling and logistics for those events. And cities with a hexathlon linked to mission day postponed, um, they'll discuss options with the respective POCs. Uh, and beyond that, they're going to prioritize applications from locations with friendly health and travel policies. Yeah, because, you know, we're, we're still, sigh, still, you know, COVID reality of all things. So yeah. travel concerns, travel restrictions, just because we might be fairly open over here in the States doesn't necessarily mean that it's the same everywhere else in the world. So yeah. it's, it's, it's still kind of touch and go. Yeah, it's not gone. I mean, I got it a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't, wasn't bad, but... Uh, I had to push off my travel for three or four days just to wait till I was testing negative. So. Yeah, it's still a real thing. So uh, be safe. Yep, yep, yep. First Saturday changes. What? Uh, first Saturday changes. Huh? Yeah. Are we going to in person first Saturdays or not? That's the question. I think you can now apply for both or either. Either is that correct? I mean, yeah, I believe it's still both. But don't don't quote me on that. Like, yeah, I've just recently, within the last month, went and attended an in-person IFS, um, which was nice. It was it was good to be able to actually see some folks again after so long. <laughs> like we had one other instance, I think. So somewhere summer of 2021 that we all kind of got together but that was completely optional so this one was yeah. more like hey we're going to come out on site but we'll also have the zoom call whereas before it was like the zoom is there but if you want to show up like you can show up yeah the couple that we've been doing we've done hybrid so that they've had people on site and people online of both and that's that works out really well but i found it kind of interesting when they were talking about in-person uh ifs the newer players that have been there for you know just a year or so, they're like, what's that? How does that work? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and actually, I had one of them ask the question, you know, isn't that wind trading? I'm like, well, not really, but it's closed. No, officially, IFS, <laughs> like, if it's, if it's a Niantic-sanctioned event, it is not possible to wind yeah, trade. Yeah, wind trade, yeah. Unless you're standing there <laughs> shouting that you're wind trading with somebody 
that you're going back and forth with, and then then it's like okay, looking for an enlightened player. Looking for an enlightened player. Are you, you going to be that way? But like, yeah, no, it's. Uh, I, I've always I've always thought it's interesting, you know, certain areas that uh, scream win trading when it's it's an IFS. It's like those folks generally don't want to have the IFS in their local area. It, it seems like when that happens, so yeah. it's like they just shout win trading and no, stop it. It's 2022 yeah, it's like, people. It's called playing the game, right? Like it's the like, game goes back and forth. It's kind of a clear to me. It's like a clear delineation between playing the game and win trading. When you're like, okay, I'm going to attack you now. Like it's obvious. Like it, when you're like get into yeah. a conversation of what you you know. So yeah, win trading. Uh, is go out there and have you, fun. Yeah, I'll meet you at this location. And I'll attack first. You attack me back. We'll go until yeah. That's that's definitely win trading. So yeah, it's it's not. You're right. But people yell about well, you know, they know they're going to be there. It's like well, I know people are going to be in certain areas at certain times, and I put myself there. So when they show up, we have a little battle. Yeah, that's and you know, we hope that's the case. Like we hope yeah. more and more. There's more people everywhere you go playing. So uh, that's just it's it's almost sad that it's like. Wait, there's other people there. That's win trading. <laughs> like, no, no, no. That's no, no, it's okay. We're supposed yeah. to play the game with each other around these. Yeah. It is possible to see other game. players, even <laughs> players of the other faction. It's possible. <laughs> so get out there and don't win trade. That's right. Move and play. Uh, double sevens gone. Did all sevens, huh? I I've yet to really find too many folks like there. There are a lot of pros and cons to that. It's it's been an interesting discussion. Like I was actually on camp. Like let's let's get rid of the double sevens. So that was my own, you know, take there. But it, it's been interesting actually making the transition back there, and then considering that we might also you know completely lose the the cooldown bonus, like. One of the main arguments that I've heard against reverting the change is that now it's been in game for so long that you legitimately have players that have come into the game and don't know anything else. Yeah. So that is, you know, a change in the opposite direction for them. Whereas for those of us, you know, old timers here, uh, it's more just returning to normal. But yeah, and for you new players, tough. we talk about double sevens being going away. That's that you can can't deploy two sevens on a uh, portal. You can only do one, and that's that was gosh, how long had that been that way for two sevens since 19? I believe just right at the start of the pandemic, so that was one of the mm -hmm. the pandemic changes outside of events that we would have the temporary, yeah, like you Boost. know, double deploys of eight and seven resos, but yeah, that was just for sevens, not for the double deploy of eights, except for you know, a few instances where we've had special events where you can deploy eights as well. So in the end, you can build a five now instead of a six, for most. And, and let's call it now. Come on, it's the it's the big one. It's the big anniversary coming up this year. That's true. They're going to be adding stuff. Probably these two things will get added back permanently as an announcement during that. You heard here first. Vane didn't spill the beans. This is all. <laughs> just my conjecture. Just see, see if they really want to go crazy for year ten, like anniversary. Just make that like that week during year 10 anniversary is like, baby, you can deploy four eights, like quad, <laughs> quad yeah, and, eights. And there's like, two hey. extra slots, right? So oh, there's goodness. 10, 10 resonators Let's on a portal, baby. The 10 resonators. Yeah. <laughs> resonators and mod slots. You only have your 10th anniversary once, right? So do it right. Or, you know, just those, those level 10 resonators. That could be, you know, ooh, like, because if it bumps up the average of the portal, but it only works as an eight, like, so portal max level could only be eight, but, you know, you could have a reso that would technically add 10 instead of add eight. Like, just just, just an idea, you know, yeah. Niantic, if you're out there listening. Hey, if they're listening, I want them to start giving out very rare link amps again. You know, those are getting harder to find. Maybe everybody gets I... 10 of those. Oh ooh, yeah, I've been that would destroying be... those left and right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that would be difficult. Um, <laughs> oof. Yeah. yeah. Make make uh, VRLAs hackable would be 
definitely a, a, a ridiculous year ten perk. But yeah. I've heard there's still a healthy amount of those out there, so I, I don't think they're quite quite looking All to open on. the floodgates on that yet. <laughs> yeah, they are handy to have. I, I was going nuts because we had a, a local player that was retiring and he was burning his stuff, so he would, you know, set up a level one portal half deployed, throw like two BRLs on it. I'm like, oh god, killing me. Just to watch them go away. So. Yeah, that's painful. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> Don't do that. Painful. Don't do it. Uh, hopefully, not painful is campfire. Not a campfire. Well, user, if you, so I can't talk if about you it. can get in, yeah, can that's in? that's the the pain point at the moment. I've I've heard, uh, you know, Play Store review is not looking too hot, mostly because folks are downvoting because once the global launch occurred. If you weren't on the the, the list to, to get in, essentially you can't get in. So like I I had beta tested uh, campfire, mm -hmm. and then as soon as the rollout occurred, it was sort of like okay now you've lost your your access to campfire. And if you try to sign into the app, you just get a message that says like oh we're going to open this up here near future, like soon trademark uh, essentially. <laughs> so yeah, that, so, that's a little um, so you can't create go. can't create new groups right now. Not right now, no. And if you if you didn't, I believe, create at least one event within an existing group mm -hmm. by the cutoff period that they had announced, then your your group has sadly gone out to uh, you know a different dimensional node out, out to pasture, so to speak. <laughs> it's out there. We just don't know where. Ooh, there's a there's a camp, like yeah, pineapple right there. Look at that. Which direction am I going? Here? Ding, ding, ding. That was, we were going to do a segment a long time ago with like, uh, some like tips and stuff. And it was going to be Camp Hilo. Look at that. Sitting around the, yeah. yeah. Just don't put <laughs> PRLA on it. No. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have those shirts available. <laughs> if you can't get in this camp, you can get in this camp. And we'll for get those to camp. that are listening to the podcast, there's this beautiful graphic of a, you know, a, a pineapple <laughs> floating around on the screen right now that just says Camp Hilo, and it's got a little, you know, campfire, and it's, it's and, a pineapple, and, so it's like a, you know, a campfire portal. It's and great. Goonie just ate it. <laughs> <laughs> and talk, talked it back out. And campfiring, if, if you're not familiar with the term, that's, you know, get into a portal and get as close to the center as you can and put all eight of them there, and you either have a campfire or a pineapple. Depending upon their terminology, which makes them easy. Or your to faction? Out. Yeah, that's the way the res do it. You know, put them in close. Oh. Ah. I've always felt. Uh oh. We slid Nothing off. you see behind the you know curtain there. <laughs> folks. Ah. Must be a wind. Yeah, I've always felt the uh, campfire terminology felt like a, a regional thing. Like certain factions would call it certain things in different places, but mm -hmm. ingress lend itself to regional dialect for for certain behaviors. So that's always interesting to hear. Like, you ask folks what they call neutral portals in some some places, and it's it's interesting. Ghost portals. Uh, and I guess if you're playing, you probably are playing on version two point nine five or better. Probably. But if you don't don't have Android eight or iOS fourteen, you're probably not playing it. I don't know how many people that knocked out, but uh, that's that was announced back in late June, mid June, that uh, the base level, base version, Android eight or iOS fourteen is what you're going to need to run the the scanner from now on. Which that's not real high. Now, I'm sure there's somebody that had a phone that was that low. Yeah, I think the impact there is is probably mostly like your your secondary markets. For, for phones, whereas like, you know, US here, we're all like, I want the latest and greatest everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean- I can launch spaceships with my phone. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think the primary focus there is, you know, get get out as much of those, those bots and spoofers as possible if they're yeah. using older versions of Android in order to do that. But yeah, I'd have to reckon 
you know, that's probably not doing a whole lot. Maybe it helps a little bit, but I, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not on the technical back end here. So I really couldn't tell you. Well, they did say that uh, their game play policy enforcement, that they were bumping that up. Um, so the higher speed and accuracy and preventing legitimate players from being punished incorrectly. So those false negatives, but they're trying to get more of those spoofers. Uh, so they supposedly have just ramped up enforcement against those behaviors across all their games um, and any cheating. So that basically means us and Pokemon Go at this point, doesn't it? Uh, does Pokemon Bloom count? And when, when's Transformers really coming out? That. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard to spoof that. I don't know why you would. Or yeah, it's like why, yeah. <clears throat> but we ask why and people still do. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got to win those step counts. Spoof, spoof those step counts. Yep. Me. The superposition anomaly should be starting up. Uh, should some stuff start up this coming? Be next Friday. Friday, July 29th. Yeah. We'll be here before you know it. That's right. And I was asked in our. Uh, Telegram channel if there would be any Asian Academy hosts on the ground in Munich. We have not uh, so gotten our tickets yet, right? Yeah, uh, tickets haven't come through. Thank you. I Where are they? Be yeah. <laughs> I feel like all this the is, ideas we gave, they should send us. I feel like this is one of those, uh, you know, it's an anomaly. So folks asking that kind of question in public, my official stance is always going to be I can neither confirm nor deny <laughs> until after the anomaly <laughs> like, <laughs> like sorry you're not you're not getting that intel out of me hey that's why he is what he is right i uh, still like i still think it would be fun to be able to like do almost like a play-by-play -play live streaming it like we tried a little bit at the chicago but it's just like mm -hmm. you just don't have enough view into what's happening so you're really just sitting there just shooting the shit well you know people are running around actually doing stuff and it's just like oh god i'm just like i'm not helping my team i'm doing nothing just sitting here and it's just a travesty um uh, but yeah there's so much if going we can on get now. in to like some talk or view to like what's going on and be like hey look we'll be isolated so we can't give out information but let us like stream this out and like basically no i guess it kind of working for them but you know Maybe you can get somebody to take a drone play by play. for you. So, so you can take a drone. I think that's when you, you know you, you have to go the embedded reporter route and just do embedded streamer. Like just get out there, two phones, but you know only one of them yeah. playing Ingress, the other one is streaming because I, I don't know if you'd want to stream and, and play Prime on the same device. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you no. need multiple anchors. It would it'd probably be pretty bad. Yeah, you mentioned Chicago. I mean, I ran into you in Chicago just when stuff started, and I never didn't see you after that time at all even looking for you yeah yeah so. no because azeli was at home um streaming and i was on the ground um i wasn't an embedded reporter but it, it was still like i can't give out like there's still this kind of like line of like well i can't be just like giving out like locations and like what's going on live like it's kind of the difference between like okay i, I took some cool photos that i can show later yeah, and it's I mean, not gonna do, give away. You can do scoring updates, and, and you can say, "Hey, during this phase, they're doing this, and they're doing that." Yeah, until she lost power, so <laughs> <laughs> no, so the live stream no. went down for a little bit. Um, but anyway, well, so well, maybe I, we. Can I think get there's somebody, a cool way to do it, though. Yeah, maybe so like we can get some like, of our uh, listeners in Germany to contact us and say, "Hey, we'll embed for you," and uh, we'll just make it work. Yeah, what so time do we Germany. have to get up for that? Like. Four in the morning? Uh, well, Three, yeah, there's, there's that issue. We'll have them record it and just send it to us. So we Let's see. It's probably it. six six or seven hours difference. Yeah. But they uh, released all the events for... Uh, well, I don't know if they released all the events, but they released some of the events, things they're going to be doing there. So I'd have to look to see what those are. Stealth and Urban Ops is back, which yeah. I was very, very pleasantly surprised to hear, as well as, uh, you know, Operation Portal Recon Live, which I think that's 
that's only like the second or third time that that has actually been available. So <laughs> folks are going to be getting a, you know, tick on uh, OPR live that haven't for a long time, you know, even without taking COVID into consideration. There's also going to be a, a cross-faction after, uh, you know, official cross-faction after party. Um, so that's, you know, day of the anomaly and also, you know, Friday for the stealth ops uh, kind of starting things out. And I believe Intel rewards are also coming back to the stealth and, and urban ops, as well as a new urban ops medal. So I don't know if they've revealed the design yet for the new urban ops medal, but I, I believe it is going to be uh, tiered, or at least that's the speculation, uh, similar to the existing stealth ops medal. So looking forward to that. I really hope I'm like, come on, American anomalies, <laughs> come on. Because like I'm only I'm only uh, two away, two away from gold stealth. So like, I need that I need that gold stealth scanner badge. Come on, Niantic. Uh, let's see, superposition phase one. June 29th to August 1st, primary site battles, 13 regional cells. I trying to find, I know somewhere I saw that they had the events they were talking about because they were talking about battle beacons. Uh, they were talking about shards. Shards. Um, yeah, I believe that's just on the official uh, superposition uh, Munich June news post. Okay. So they kind of go down through and list out that you know, there will be procedure for the impact uh, zone for the battle beacons and the way that that'll sort of play out as well as, you know, the graphics for what the portal ornamentation will look there. And there's also some deep portal links on that news post. Yeah. So we can we can get that link out there because that's nice. You can actually, you know, instead of only looking at the graphic that's on the news post, you can also click the deep, you know, portal link and it'll open up in your scanner to that portal so you can see what the ornamentation will look like in the scanner. Um, will it be such one, such a one that uh, it might be of use to do um, a recharge room, which I know us being so far away, we won't be able to be real effective, but at least you could help. I would be very, very surprised if both factions weren't taking, you know, full advantage of recharge potential, even if uh, the U.S. is excluded by range from from that sort of thing <laughs> yeah. i don't know i don't know if we're too too far away to do anything but uh, for those of you new new listeners um a recharge room basically is that you have you you mule the keys from munich to all over the world and then uh through your uh intel system uh you have a collection of people that are set up so that they watch certain portals that are in the play box in munich and then uh Whenever attacks happen, they start recharging. Um, and I'm sure there's just a lot of lag there, but still, recharging does make a big difference. Um, you know, if you've got a portal that, you know, the other faction has five people and you've only got one guy on it, he doesn't have a chance in hell of keeping that charge. But if he's got, you know, 30 rechargers uh, helping him out, it's chances are better. Yeah, I mean, I wonder how many people. It'd be nice if you if uh, could recharge from home, <laughs> like uh, and not you know with a crowd of people, <laughs> like right now. Well, if you mule your own keys and you, go. you know get within distance in the Atlantic Ocean, where you can uh, do some recharging, cruise, then... <laughs> recharge, cruise. <laughs> I wonder if you could do a relay charge, you know, put put one halfway out in the Atlantic and you just bounce off of that one to the next one. That sounds I like a lesson. The recharge efficiency on that. It'd be like, <laughs> oh boy, 5% of your XM is uh, is going to those resonators. That's, that's a good word, the boys. Right there. I think we'll see more chance of that happening this time than uh, Intel Ops. So, But... <laughs> I think, you know, have to address the uh, elephant in the room regarding the superposition metal uh, criteria, since that was a controversial piece this time around. So traditional anomaly metals, you only earn them from going on site, on location. 
And that was something that was sort of up in the air with uh, the announcement of, you know, Munich returning. Originally, it was going to be the Requiem Anomaly for the end of the Nemesis series. And then obviously, COVID hit. And we got delayed, we got delayed, we got delayed. Finally, the Anomaly does return. It is a single site in Munich for superposition. But globally, agents will be able to earn the superposition medal, these 10 battle beacons during the phase of the anomaly. So that is, you know, agent deployed battle beacons, or if you're on site in Munich, the battle beacons that are deployed locally on site at the anomaly. So that, you know, a lot of controversy there, a lot of opinions there, things are pretty heated yeah. back and forth. But uh, Niantic has, you know, clarified that they will be sticking to that, and globally agents will be able to earn a super position, a super position medal, excuse me, uh, even if you're only participating with the ten rare battle weekends. So, yeah. keep and that in registration mind. registration is open for the anomaly. So, if you haven't uh, haven't done that yet, you could still do it. I don't know if you can get plane trip or plane tickets, but uh, you could at least do that. So, so we should all have our own little mini anomalies yep. where we earn our badge that way across that, the world. That sounds good. We can't go. So, um, we're going to be, uh, having one in, uh, Triana. So everybody come on down for, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're put now, this place gonna, on the map. Are you going to try to do that during the restock weekend coming up? Just give me some, no, we'll do it during the, uh, there uh for what is it the uh, 30th right no yeah 29th 30th well yeah. you've got you've got the uh ingress two by two uh looks like that's already gone through hasn't it that was the 17th and the 18th yep, just this past weekend yeah yeah i missed that <laughs> I think I hit a quad AP. That's right. Yeah, no, I really wanted to get out there, but I was building a fence. So that's okay. I I no actually fence. didn't get any, you know, quad AP. It, it was a busy weekend, and that announcement came pretty hard and pretty fast. So <laughs> yeah. I, I did not get out, but I also have not yet recursed again. So we're gonna see. You know, I was waiting, figuring that anomalies would make their eventual return and did not really want to have to be going through the level gauntlet again. So you know, really, fingers crossed, holding out for, for some local anomalies here. Some 10 times AP for the 10th anniversary. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, it's like recurse and then just go hit the ground running. If they would do a, if they would do a multiplier like that, I would, I think I would recurse you, again. So now if you're listening, you, you really want... <laughs> me to, to push that button again for the, the fourth time. Like, there you go. <laughs> Maybe they'll let you stack apexes. So, you know, you can stack like three or four of them. Or four. 10 of them. 10 of them. Dang. You almost take the fun out of it. Almost. See, like, I, if I just hit the, if I hit the button, like I can recurse right now. Go hit it. Uh, no, change. Flip. Go, go blue. No. But if they, I'd have to wait the four hours. Oh, okay. It's like it's like uh, you know, in the US having to purchase a gun. You gotta wait. You got the Oh no no no. Bad idea. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna No, no, no politics. No politics. Uh, no, I I went uh, I, I live in the South. Like that's not a political thing at all. It's just it's just a way of life. Like that's just oh well, there's a three day waiting period. So there is to it. Uh anyway, gun, so gun control of the South is making sure it doesn't fall off the rack in your truck when you hit a bump. That that's what it is. I think so. I don't have a gun. Okay. I'll be honest, I, I lived in the South my whole life. Um, that whole three-day thing, I, I'm not good at waiting, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we also have uh, August events. Uh, right? Uh, Impact zones? Or is I that think, uh, something different? I think that's part of the Munich anomaly, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. No. So why is it in August? I don't know. Because I messed up the paper. I, I don't know. And, and 10 select impact zones will be the only areas in which blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we'll just move on and we'll talk about that next week if it matters. Uh, August. 
uh, we did have one of our uh, one of the guys we had on. I think we had him on uh, Fifty Seven Cell. We had Fifty Seven Cell on here. Um, a resistance agent from down under, and uh, I guess they did a thing on uh, 26th of June. They set a world record: 456 layered fields. Um, so that previously was held by the Enlightened, and I think that was by 430 something when it was green. I feel like we've been talking about this for months now. I think you keep pulling up the resistance wins like over and over again. <laughs> hey, hey, we got our butts handed to us in the last event, so I'm going to take everything I can. No, I'm just giving you a hard time. Though I do uh, think we talked about this before, about don't we? I yes. did, you know, I, I did go in and pull up the, the, the July through September. There, there was a July through September news post for events. So that is out there. You were, you were remembering correctly, Goonie. Uh, things, things get a little buried and shifted around on the forums. And, you know, sometimes uh, Telegram's a little out of order there for the ingress official. But, uh, you know, coming up, I would say at this point, we've got, you know, superposition 30th, 31st for July, and then 29th for some of the things that are kicking off there, Stealth Ops. Uh, August 6th is, you know, first Saturday. And then 5th through 9th is level 8 day, a bunch of bonuses there. Uh, two times deploy for level 8 resonators, so, you know, it's Ooh. already coming back there. Uh, just for the 5th through the 9th. August 14th, second Sunday again. Uh, 20th and 21st is another restocking weekend, and there will be specifics for that. So that looks like it's going to have hacks yielding two times the amount of resonators and bursters. So really supply up there uh, post-anomaly. And on the 27th and 28th, that is the second uh, available date for the superposition anomaly medal. So that will be another... Uh, there won't be an official site, but there will be 10 impact zones. That's where, you know, Guni was mentioning earlier. So those folks were being uh, contacted, and then the actual official announcement will be forthcoming for what those sites were. But you out there in the community have likely already heard of a few. I know of, you know, a few here, but, uh, you know, some are still a little hush, hush, hush. So, uh, that so we're going to announce Triana. This is one of the uh, <laughs> get your plane tickets now. There's no hotels there, so uh, get your so camping gear. In those impact zones, they're going to be doing battle beacons, shard battles. What are we doing? What are we going on in those impact zones? Uh, there'll be rare battle beacons that uh, Niantic will deploy. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, so I think uh, you know right now. I think it's safe to assume that you will have yeah rare rare battle beacons. I don't know because that that was in the news post, but I don't know if shards will make an appearance. Okay. I oh, would and assume city shard battles, unless that's one of, those, of us yeah. would put that here, or maybe one of us would put that here. I would assume that there would be city shard battles for a few of those sites, but I'm not Niantic, and the Try official it. post hasn't come out yet. So for now, it's you know well, just if been we say it, it'll happen, beacons. right? If we, we announce it, it's going to happen. So we'll just. Oh, yeah, yeah it's a definite. <laughs> yeah, right. Can I, just, okay. can I just paste this in here? Can I just do that? Does that work? No. Uh, anyway, yeah. sorry. Didn't mean to say weird things like I normally do because I'm weird. <laughs> I got problems. Oh, there it is. Put it right over me. There you go. Triana. Ooh, fancy. Doesn't it's that now, look beautiful? Is that, is, that, is that the entirety of Triana in that picture? Well. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, on a, it's on a map. <laughs> there's a library. There's a oh, fire station. Well, there there's a Dollar General there. now. And, huh? uh, I don't know if that'd be a portal. Sounds like you might be rivaling, you know, cross planes, and they've done multiple things there before. Okay. <laughs> so Let's come on, Hanky, if you're if you're coming out to cross planes, and you, you can come on out to Triana. And I take it you're probably <laughs> under the twenty five hundred uh, population, so you make the light. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Are you over the two twenty five? 
Does that have at least 25 people? At least 25. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's growing. I don't, I don't actually know the population. I could probably look it up. I don't know if it's worth anyone's time. Uh, oh, 2,300. Ooh. Getting close. Yeah. You're going to have to stop people from moving in. <laughs> yeah, that'll go over well. <laughs> <laughs> We want to keep this library, so <laughs> and the Dollar General. Okay. So, <laughs> um. Oh man, now I lost the sheet of facts. Which the, all we have left is, you know, that uh, our good friend Fifty Seven Cell set a, a world record. I don't know if you've uh, I, I seen this. <laughs> and then you gave me a crap board. <laughs> uh, funny, <laughs> funny stuff. Did someone change the code? Is this a new code? I don't recognize it. Uh, I, I think that was what I put on there the last time. Yep, we that made that is this, that so is that is it. definitely old. Yeah. Uh, oh wow, is it? But we didn't actually use it. It's not in our list of. <laughs> Wait, is <laughs> this supposed to be episode ninety-seven? Wow, this could be. Okay, so I'll put this here because we'll need to do something with that. It's and part of uh, the mystique. Yeah, this is what we need. So this will be AA. He's trying to figure. He's trying to think and type at the same time. Y'all have time. something? Uh, no. How about AA fifty seven cell AA? There you go. Have we used that one? I don't think so. Okay. And it is not active yet, so don't go put it in until this episode airs, and it will air one day. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's that's it for the show. So <laughs> we'll see you. I wonder the... if that was uh, the battery or. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. I just heard this. Uh, There's just like this slow fade out. Like what? Did, did you throw something. that field? Is that? Uh... The green cover, did it go up? Like, yeah. Hose I, down, I, I hose down. I was expecting him coming back. He's not. We're done. This is it. This is the end, my beautiful <laughs> friends. So, uh, Agent Academy, that's another episode down. Thanks for joining Agent Vane and Agent Dewey J, who's <laughs> back again. <laughs> But we're leaving. Go get get <laughs> skedaddle. You, you weren't able to move out before I got back. That's good. Good, good, good. So we're heading that way, though. So everybody have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy your your events if there's anything going on when you listen to us, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Or we'll talk. And to have you. a good one, and you know that's right. Get out there, agents. Next weekend. Next, next week. Yeah. Go and light. Resistance!